morning, everybody. It is Monday, November 4th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. All right, is anyone else all out of sorts from this time change, especially if you have a little one? I mean, yesterday, my husband and I kept looking at each other like, it's only 8.30 in the morning. It's only five. It's not even bedtime. Yeah, it was pretty much the longest day ever. Well, you know what? Now it is time for a new week, and we are kicking it off with some top talkers. Do not freak out, but Christmas is officially 51 days away. Somebody in the newsroom just asked me if I just got my Christmas decorations out. I was like, wait, what? Uh, no. I feel like before Halloween, stores were already putting out Christmas decorations. So I decided to ask you, the viewers, I broke my no Facebook, Instagram rule. I got on, it was for work. I asked you guys, when do you all decorate? Here is what you had to say. Ready for this, Producer Bree? 14% of you said November 1st. 77% of you said after Thanksgiving. 9% said you don't even decorate. Maybe you celebrate a different holiday. Maybe you celebrate Hanukkah. 0% said you keep up your Christmas decorations all year long. Producer Bree, please mm -hmm. enter this chat. I'm here. Can I say I actually was so relieved. I, I thought the number was going to be higher that people decorated on November 1st. Yeah, me too. But I'm, I don't feel that bad that people are starting on Thanksgiving. Because okay, I kind of yeah. I kind of thought it was kind of a tradition that after Thanksgiving you start putting the tree up. I know. When do you decorate? Uh, well, used to be after Thanksgiving meal, like after everybody start, like every, after everybody digests their food a little bit, yeah, we start taking the tree out and decorating and things. But now we're just lazy, so. You know, it's okay. <laughs> we put the tree up when we put the tree up. It'll be up before December 25th. Can I just tell you, I think once you let go of all of that, it's more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, ah. <sighs> You enjoy it almost more. Yesterday, so I wasn't feeling well. I finally did the doctor's orders and I stayed my little tushy in bed, Brie. Okay. <laughs> but I broke a rule because I wanted to do this poll on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I got on Instagram. Bad, bad mistake, Brie. Uh -oh. I got anxious because can I tell you, all these basics trying to make commission, mm -hmm. they were decking the halls. <laughs> And I started getting anxiety, and I started putting stuff in my Amazon cart uh -oh. because I want to do a pink Barbie tree because I collect Barbie ornaments. My mm -hmm. mom always does, and I want to do it for May. And then all of a sudden, I started putting bows for May's hair, and I started being like, oh. You're stress buying. Yeah, and it started, I didn't buy, but it just started like, oh It was gosh, going in the oh cart. Gosh. It started, and I was like, this is why I do not do any social media on Sunday, but I did it for you, the people. <laughs> To get a talker for today's show. I think show. the worst part is when you don't pay for it and then they send you notifications saying, hey, you forgot these things in your car. Oh, but let me tell you what they do. Let me tell you what these kids' shops do. <laughs> I put it in my cart because mm -hmm. I'm contemplating. Like, does May really need that $30 outfit? <laughs> I love it. She's the best dressed kid. Who is it really for? It's for me. <laughs> and also, it's beautiful, and she's the dr best dressed kid in music class. And the music class moms, I know, some are competing against us. Mm -hmm. I feel it. I see their kids, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> you got smocking now, too. I see what you did over there. <laughs> but, you can't beat the trendsetters. No, let's be real. I'm her stylist. It's okay. <laughs> but then they'll send me notifications, like dangling a little carrot, like, we want mm -hmm. you. We want you. 20% off. We want that. you. And then and they I say was like, at the bottom, be like, 20 or 40 people already have this in their cart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like, it's good for them. That it. gives me anxiety. Quickly selling, only one left. And I'm like, wait, what? What do you mean? Do I do it? Do I do it? <sighs> Mostly no, unless you for real really need it. I have to think, what would Bree do? What would Bree do? I Bree, don't think that's a good thing to ask because knowing me, I'll probably just <laughs> I'll impulsively press buy. <laughs> but Bree, I told you you're rubbing off on me because last week you were saying you'd be an auntie. <laughs> and you pulled out goldfish. And can I just tell you what May woke up wanting for breakfast? Goldfish. Goldfish now. 
I forgot what um we we had a story in the uh we had a recent story where they decided to temporarily change goldfish crackers to something else. I forgot what it was called, but can I tell you though what I bought today? What did you buy? It's early, but <laughs> There's elf goldfish and they taste like maple syrup. Hmm. I insta I, they're in my cart for pickup. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know how I don't know. I love don't you love maple syrup? Yeah, but I'm just saying. As a snack, I feel like that's a bit much. Listen, don't tell me, but I'll smuggle you a few. <laughs> I know somebody who knows I feel like it's I'm like I smuggled from the bubbles. Don't let me no, do no, that. No, 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 no. I smuggled the Elmo bubbles. Now I'll smuggle some goldfish. You're welcome. I'm here. I'm here. All right. Well, here's a new talker. I feel like someone may be asking Santa for a new phone. After former NFL player Jason Kelsey smashed his. Did you guys see this? Jason Kelsey showed a Penn State football fan on Saturday what can happen if he's Ooh. pushed too far. Oh, yeah, he doesn't play. It happened on college game day when a fan taunted Kelsey with a homophobic slur directed at his brother Travis and his relationship with wow. pop superstar Taylor Swift. The former NFL lineman responded by turning around, taking the fan's phone, smashing it to the ground and taking it away. No word on what will happen next. Oh, you know what happened next? <laughs> My daddy's team, Ohio State. They beat Penn State. Now you like them apples? Just saying. <laughs> I say good. Oh my gosh. I, I have no relation to this, so I have nothing to I know, say. Okay, <laughs> I know it's sports, but remove. Pretend it's not sports. Okay, I'll try. So someone you love. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're walking. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then someone does a homophobic slur about someone you love dating mm -hmm. someone. What would you do? Uh, I wouldn't say violence is the answer, but yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. that's, I, I, I can't lie and say I will not turn to violence because. Yeah, I wouldn't. My, we are better with our words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My words, I'm, I have a sharp tongue. Yeah, I mean, I can say words and throw violence, so. But this little pipsqueak, he kept taunting and taunting, and yeah, you just he just get to the Yeah, he shouldn't have been point. talking smack. That's his fault. And <laughs> I'm also, sorry, like. Anti, I'm sorry, anti Now you have no way of getting slurs. home. You had to go there. That. First of all, you never you never say anything about someone's mama. Don't ever diss mama yeah. Kelsey. And then, why'd you have to do that? Of all things, that's the best you got? And then you're talking all that smack, and you're in college. Who's paying for those bills? Mm-hmm. You're talking smack. Well, you know what? Smack that phone. <laughs> How you like them apples? And then How you, you know go what? talk to your parents now. Mm. Oh, and you didn't even get to record the loss because then Ohio State did a smackdown on Penn State. Oh, oh. Can we say karma? Karma. Just saying. I, I was, I kind of was like, I kind of loved the video because I was like, you little pip squeak. <laughs> I've had it. These young kids, they get fresh mouth. Also, yeah. I love how protective he is of his family. Yeah, that was good. The, the word that he said wasn't good. That word, I, I have yeah. no tolerance for that word. Yeah. None. So he, he really didn't have to say the word back, but. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, <laughs> none of that word never needs to be used. So that's all. That's all. And I'm not decorating till after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Come at me. In the meantime, Jonathan May... is over here trying not to get in the camera again. <laughs> Jonathan! John, no! Then, not Jonathan back there. Don't get confused, honey. Your weather hit's coming up later in the show. We don't want to confuse the Jonathans. They seem to get confused around here. Yeah. All right. Our Let's... engineer, Jonathan. John, Jonathan. Jonathan. All right. Should we tease what's coming up? Yes. All right. Still to come. Did you know? Today, tomorrow, election day is tomorrow, and child care is a big issue for many on the ballot. We're going to be talking to this lady who has made it her mission to tackle the child care crisis. So stay tuned for that. We have plenty of Houston Happens. We're just getting started. Make a date with two and a half men. Alan. I don't want to go. Please don't. Weeknights at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. I've been a rookie a few times in my life, but this time it's with Medicare. So I'm going to call Cigna Healthcare, get some wisdom from them. 
Wondering which Medicare plan is right for you? Call Cigna Healthcare now at 855-721-1527. Looking for low monthly premiums? With Medicare Advantage from Cigna Healthcare, they're as low as $0. It doesn't get more affordable than that. Speaking of affordable, co-pays for many prescription drugs are as low as $0 too. And preventive care? You guessed it, $0. You can even increase your Social Security check with a plan that helps cover your Part B premium. And here's a bonus. Call now and you'll receive our free Medicare Advantage Decision Guide. It includes a benefit summary, questions to ask before choosing a plan, and more. There's no obligation to enroll. With Medicare Advantage from Cigna Healthcare, you'll enjoy all-in-one coverage, combining Part A, Part B, and often Part D into one simple, easy-to-understand plan. Plus, you'll enjoy lots of additional benefits, like coverage for preventive and comprehensive dental services, as well as vision and hearing. And here's some additional peace of mind. You'll have access to a quality network of doctors, hospitals, and pharmacies. You'll also receive a Cigna Healthy Today card, a preloaded spending card that gives you easy access to select benefits, like an over-the-counter allowance. We even make it rewarding for staying well, with incentives for engaging in healthy activities like yearly checkups. Whether you're a Medicare rookie or looking to switch plans, it's easy to see how much you get with Medicare Advantage from Cigna Healthcare. So call 855-721-1527 now. You'll speak with a Cigna Healthcare licensed agent who will help you choose the plan that's right for you. And you'll get your free, no obligation Medicare Advantage decision guide. Don't delay. Open enrollment ends December 7th. Call 855 721 1527. A boy put naked, deep fake images of my daughter online. She was only 14. For eight months, I tried to get the images removed, but Big Tech refused. Ted Cruz took action, working with Democrat Amy Klobuchar. They introduced the bipartisan Take It Down bill. It forces big tech to take down harmful deep fakes. It empowers victims. And it gives parents hope. That's leadership. That's fighting for us. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. They have comedy down to a science. How did she get you to do yoga? To be honest, I thought she said Yoda. Weeknights at 6 and 6.30 on CW39 Houston. happen so I'm like Jonathan are we gonna be talking about severe weather this is his response yeah we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff I got a lot of stuff a lot of stuff to talk <laughs> got about a lot of stuff got a lot of stuff. stuff I feel like I'm talking to my toddler okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. it's busy I'm gonna tell you something have you stepped you haven't stepped outside in the last few minutes huh well, you no because show? you think I want to mess up my hair it's yeah, already that's, like it's one of those flattening. it's one of those you know whoosh, Extra Jeez. hairspray forecast. Thank yeah. you. I would like to thank you. I had this big church event that mm -hmm. I was helping with, trying to get in with the preschool moms. Okay. Get, oops, I <laughs> almost care. broke the monitor. Oh, no, that's expensive. Sorry, please don't charge me. Um, so I appreciate it. It stayed off for trunk or treating. Thank you. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Nature. And the weather tomorrow, not my fault. I so, already, you, I, you know works? what? I early voted, so there's that. Yeah, tomorrow, it could, the first half of the day is going to be pretty bad, the commute, but it should be okay for, I'd say, after 10 a.m. Oh, good. So if you, have, if you have plans, but it's just, you know, it's just a, a gnarly weather pattern. I mean, do you know yesterday was 92 in College Station? Gross. And you know that's the first time the National Weather Service here is reporting. That's the first time since 1948 it's been in the 90s in November in College Station at all. And that's crazy. That's just, yeah. Anyway, some raindrops here from our camera in Houston. And so rain has moved through the city a little earlier. Now to the north in Montgomery County, Porter Heights seeing some rain. And you head up uh, towards Splendora. And this has been on and off around Cleveland through the morning. Activity from the south to the north. That's the motion. Cold Spring just getting out of some moderate rain. And, and it looks like uh, in Jersey Village, some shower activity there as well. Now we look at the watches and warnings page. If you notice 
This green, the light green, is a coastal flood advisory for the area, for the coastal communities, for the beach spots. That's indicating basically some minor coastal flooding is possible. The reason is this strong south wind that's coming in, along coinciding with high tide, causing those issues there for the coastal communities. Now, I'm going to show you the wind in a moment. It's quite strong right now, but 77 for the temperature. That's the normal high temperature for the day. We should be there in the afternoon, right? The normal low is 55. I have 86 for a high temperature this afternoon. It's all it's 78. Correct. I mean, the morning temperatures are way above average for the high temperatures, if that makes sense to you here. 86 degrees in the afternoon, but it's going to feel like it's 95 because of the humidity in the air. And nowhere is fall to be found until tomorrow, actually. So let's talk about that in the forecast. So today we know it's going to be warm. We looked at that. Let me look at the winds with you. I mentioned the gusts out there. Look at them picking up 30 to 40 miles per hour area wide later this morning into the afternoon time. And then the front moves through. Let me show you the rain with the front expected. This is this afternoon, very spotty stuff in nature. I mentioned that. But here's the front tonight in the overnight hours, making its way just in time for the commute tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. The potential for some severe weather and widespread one to two inch totals. That's that's a bad situation for the first half of Tuesday with the chance of severe weather as well in the mix. If you can believe it, yeah, that's all in all a, a pretty rough Tuesday morning. But the afternoon, 74 for a high temperature, at least we're getting some fall, cooler fall air in place that uh, will make it feel a little bit more tolerable outside as well. So that's your forecast. Never good when you bring out the avocado. The avocado. Was that? Did I bring out the avocado? It looks like the avocado. That's what it was. It's the avocado. I love cast. avocados. The I avocast. can eat them like apples, but that avocado Not little the, thingy. Yeah. No, it was the avocado cast. It wasn't. Yeah, the, the avocado cast. cast. Eh. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I'll just wear my hair back. My fault. Planning ahead. Planning ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know about you guys, but yesterday felt like the longest day of our life, especially if you have a toddler. They don't seem to understand you could maybe sleep in an extra hour. So now that daylight saving time is over, it gets dark outside earlier once you get to that point. That one hour change makes a big difference, and it's something to consider while driving. So our own Seth Kovar is now joining us live in the studio with some very helpful tips. I have to say, Seth, we kept looking at the clock yesterday, and I was like, Hefe, are you serious? It's not even 5 o'clock? Oh, man, I rolled over at 6 a.m. thinking it could be 7 or later, and it took forever just to get the morning going. Yes, a very long day. Really Finally, was. the sun sets early, though, so 5.30 sunset. That's good for people on our schedule, maybe, yeah. but also not great. Let's just get the toddlers on board. Poor May. <laughs> she was so, and Hefe thought his clock automatically changed. The poor man got up oh. at 4.50 a.m. Oh, yeah. A.m. I was like, Sorry, oh. Hefe. Sorry, Hefe. Sorry, Hefe. And May was so confused. So basically, we're, we're adjusting. We'll get used to it. Well, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is something I want to talk about and get used to as well. The drive home. This is what it looks like. You see the hand on the wheel over here and the dashboard. This is what they're going to have to be dealing with now that daylight saving time is over. And honestly, yeah, woof, just want to put the shades on. That's, uh, that's awfully bright there, right? Well, uh, much earlier in the afternoon, right, you find uh, the, the sun going down. That is your drive home, especially if you're headed west. It's a problem for those folks. So the website idrivesafely.com has some tips for handling the reduced visibility that comes with driving at sunset. It's pretty basic. If possible, leave work earlier or stay later. Drive after the sun has cleared the horizon or before it starts to set. That will keep it from being directly in your eyes. If you can do that, though, another tip is make sure your windshield's clean. Getting all the smash bugs off of there will give you a better chance of being able to see what's in front of you, even when you are headed towards the sun. Consider also increasing the distance between your car and the car in front of you. It could be hard to see those brake lights when the sun's shining in your eyes. So you want to give yourself more time to react to people stopping in front of you. And with that in mind, make sure your brake lights are working to help other drivers see you. Now make sure your headlights are working too, which is really important if you choose to head home after sunset. Putting off replacing a burned out bulb will make it harder for you to see while night driving and make it harder for other people to see you. And it's not just other drivers you need to be looking for. Always be on the lookout for people on foot or riding bikes. They'll be much harder to see after 
dark or while blinded by the setting sun. But it's still just 530 in the afternoon. They're still going to be out there, so watch out. And finally, avoid all distractions behind the wheel. You need to constantly scan the road ahead and through your mirrors so you know what's going on in all directions. Being on your cell phone, fiddling with the radio, doing anything that takes your attention away from driving could lead to disaster. Now, Maggie, if you missed any of those tips, we have them for you on our website, CW39.com. And there are also several things you should probably do around your house here. That end of daylight savings time has come and gone. I'll have those for you on the website as well. Back to oh. you. Oh, you know, I'm trying to be helpful. I'm kind of feeling old because remember back in the day when it was daylight saving time? First of all, it's saving, not savings yes. time. And you'd get so excited because the bar, you'd be there an extra hour. Extra hour party. Yeah. It would be like until I went shot, 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 shot. Those days are long gone. Long gone. I was like in bed, like, okay, yep. let's get through. Buckle up. And if you see me distracted, it's trying to go like this and hand me a snack. <laughs> this is my distracted driving. Oh, I hope she gets used to it soon. I know. Thank you so much, Seth. I appreciate you. As always, can you put the glasses on one more time? Of course. I mean, you look like Maverick. Are those the ones you wore to These the my air birthday show? glasses. What do you think? Those are? Yeah. Oh, honey. $30 special. Hey, $30, I'll lose them. Not too bad. $30. Make it holla. Okay. Model them. We're off to break, everybody. Stay tuned. You never know what Seth will be modeling after the break. <laughs> Weather is the one thing that every single human being on the face of the earth has an interest in. It is going to affect you, it's going to affect me. Every day, the weather story is everyone's story. So I think for me, that's important. Hi, we're House Buyers, Houston's trusted cash home buyer. Do you have a home that's costing you time and money? Do you have a manufactured or mobile home? Or maybe inheritance of land that you don't know what to do with? For years, we've been the quickest solution to selling your property as is. No matter what it looks like, we'll take it with no repairs and no fees. Give us a call. We'd love to see your house. And close when you're ready. It's that easy. Call 832-510-3100. That's 510-3100. Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called a DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. And WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these, like more coverage for dental, vision, and hearing. And I can even see specialists for a $0 or low copay. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions and a WellCare Spendables debit card for everyday stuff and real human support and answers I can understand. And that means a WellCare DSNIP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call 877-278-3578 or visit wellcaremore.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. Colin Allred's taught us two things. He's a radical liberal, and he can't be trusted. Allred wants you to believe he will protect girls in sports. But he voted for boys and girls sports twice. We have the receipts. Allred wants you to think he's tough on the border. He's not. We have those receipts, too. And he tells us the Biden-Harris economy lowers cost. We all have those receipts. Colin Allred, too liberal for Texas. A serious injury is overwhelming, and choosing your lawyer is a big decision. Call Terry Bryant, Houston's trusted personal injury lawyer for decades. Our service is legendary. We'll do everything we can to help you or point you in the right direction. Call now for a free consultation. Your search is over. For car crashes, work injuries, slip and falls, catastrophic accidents, and more, you deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. Welcome to the Laugh Zone. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's super out of breath. Weeknights at 11 and 11.30 on CW39 Houston. Four. Time flies when you're having fun. We're at that halfway mark and still to come. The countdown is on until Election Day. We'll be joined by a local group encouraging young people to get out and vote and then watch the results roll in for this historical presidential election. Find out more about their watch party. And Jonathan, it's going to mm. be kind of rough. 
go vote. Severe weather in the first half of the day. We're going to talk about this coming up too. You'll definitely want to be aware of what's happening on the radar because, well, it could be rough tomorrow for the first part of the day at least. That's coming up. From family storybooks to nutritious space chocolates, I'll take you inside TechCrunch Disrupt, where startups are hoping to become the next big thing. I'm Rich Demuro. That's coming up in Rich on Tech. I was driving home from work. A guy came and T-boned me. The person that hit me, their insurance company was being very aggressive. They were trying to get me to sign stuff. I didn't know what to do, so I called Jim Adler. I got to go out and buy a brand new car. It's actually safer for my family. I got to get medical attention. I got, I got the help that I needed, so I'm very glad I called Jim Adler. Stop! Don't sign anything until you talk to me. Let me hammer the insurance company for your paycheck and medical bill. Call today, 713-777-4000. Hi, I'm Micah, and I still want to buy your house. When you call 713-565-5000, you're working with me, a Houstonian who's been buying houses for over 25 years. I make it easy with an as-is cash offer on your home within 24 hours. Whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition, when you sell to Micah, there are no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just call 713-565-5000 for a free, no-obligation offer, 24 hours a day. That's 713-565-5000. Who can you call when you need immediate help, any time of day or night, even when you're hundreds of miles away from home? Always giving you and your family peace of mind, knowing that people, benefits, and services are there for you 24-7. Over 50 million members rely on AAA, America's largest motor club and most highly recommended major roadside assistance provider. AAA's legendary roadside assistance is a network with over 50,000 vehicles that respond to more than 32 million assistance calls every year. If something happens and we're broken down, my family's not going to be stranded. There are so many benefits to membership, and AAA is there if you're locked out of your car, need a tow, run out of gas, have a flat tire, or a dead battery. You know, if you have one flat tire or one battery service, that membership fee pays for itself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, you can trust AAA to be there when you need them. Call AAA today and find out how much you can save. Introducing Buff City Soap's plant-based laundry line. Handmade daily with ingredients you can pronounce. Fight tough stains without the harsh chemicals, all while using your favorite customized scent. Visit us at any of our seven Houston area locations to pick your scent today. As governor, my job is to keep Texas, Texas. And Colin Allred just isn't Texas. Allred supports open border policies. He supports boys competing in girls' sports. And he wants to use your tax dollars to pay for sex changes in the military. Colin Allred pushed an extreme agenda in Congress. But let's keep Texas, Texas and keep Colin Allred out of the Senate. Truth and Courage Pack is responsible for the content of this act. Judy Justice, today at 3 and 3.30 on CW39 Houston. Well, time now is nearly 9.28. Thanks for joining us for the second half hour of Houston Happens. As you all know, huge day tomorrow. The countdown yeah. is on until yeah. Election Day, and a local group is encouraging young people to get out and vote and then watch the results roll in for this historical presidential election. Well, we have the founder and outreach director of POP, or P-O-P, Impact, right? To discuss more about this watch party, please introduce yourselves. Hi, everyone. My name is Gian Christopher Thomas, and I am the CEO and founder of POP. Hi, my name is Cameron Joseph, and I am the Outreach Director of POP. So tell me a little bit about POP. So we got started a couple of years back, uh, and our main objective is getting young people engaged and meeting them where they're at. And so that's why we started POP, and so to meet people where they're at and also have an event uh, where young people are at. And so that's why we're hosting uh, Election Day Watch Party at Club Noto. I think 
is really cool because we go out, we cast our vote, and yeah. then it's like, okay. And nobody just wants to watch at home alone. But mm. I love watching. So you guys have a really fun environment to watch. Tell me a little bit about this watch party. So uh, like I said before, the watch party is going to be at Club Noto. That is uh, 3215 um, McKinney Street. Uh, we're going to have uh, from... 8 to 9 o'clock. It's free for everyone to get in. The event is from 8 to 1 o'clock. Yeah. And you can get your tickets at eventbrite.com. This is amazing. Now, are there other things, resources that are going to be available there tomorrow night? Yes. Yeah, so also, uh, we are having, we've partnered, the POP organization has partnered with Ride Share to Vote. And so we're getting people in the city of Houston free rides to the polls. This is incredible. Yeah. What are you looking forward to most about tomorrow? Uh, I would say, man, just the atmosphere, regardless of what is going to be a historic election, 100%. And um, just like we said, getting, getting the teens out there, getting these younger people ready to vote and um, just having a gun. Yeah, what about for you? Yeah, uh, like, like my... Uh like my friend said, it's going to be a very historic moment. Yes. And I guess just watching the results, being a part of that, and having a fun atmosphere to celebrate that. And what would you say is next for POP? Well, 2025 is going to be really big for POP. We plan on doing a lot of things. We're going to be working with the Texas Ledge session, and we're also going to be partnering with the different universities throughout Houston and um, just helping out with general mentorship and uh, voter registration. Yes, because it doesn't just stop tomorrow. No, no. There's more work to be done all the time. And we do time. a lot of tabling events at these universities, and we the common theme amongst all those events is people coming up to us and asking if there's a way that we can partner up or link so we can help them, you know. Along their journey. Yeah. That's incredible. So no matter who you vote for, why would you tell someone that's young at home, it's Maybe they're saying, oh, I don't really need to go vote. Why would you tell them their voice needs to be heard? Because you don't want no one, anyone, having voting for you. And when you don't vote, you're relying on somebody else making that decision for you. So my, my whole goal is to, for young people to take control and take that, their power back in, in, uh, in their lives and do voting. Right. And what about for you? I would say the same thing. And really, a lot of times we... We, we, we complain or we, we, we speak on certain issues, but a lot of times the easiest way to fix those things or, or change certain things is voting. Right. I've told a lot of people, hey, you can't complain unless you vote. Yeah. Like, you can't say anything exactly. unless you get out and vote. So, again, look at your screen. There's also our code right there. You can scan it. And tell everybody again the time for the event tomorrow night. So tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's night event is from 8 to 1 o'clock. And like I said, from 8 to 9 o'clock, it's free for everyone to get in. All right. Well, this is definitely going to be a great watch party. And thank you so much for bringing everyone together. It doesn't matter who you're voting for. Just get out there, vote, and then you can watch the results roll in. That's definitely going to be a historic moment. Thank you both so much for joining us. We'll have to have you back on the show. And, of course, we'll have all of the information over on our website, CW39.com. Meanwhile, TechCrunch Disrupt, Disrupt, I should say, is where startups showcase innovations that could change our lives. Rich Jamiro takes us inside in today's Rich on Tech. San Francisco, the epicenter of tech, and one website covers it all. TechCrunch really is about giving people a front row to the future of technology. Disrupt is where startups come to get noticed, with over 10,000 attendees from 35 countries and one hot topic. AI is basically the internet, it's mobile, it undergirds everything, and people are just trying to understand what's happening because it's impacting things so rapidly. People come to get inspired, network, and build the next big thing. I scoured an entire floor filled with startups like Mab Lab. Mab was inspired after my co-founder and I lost a close friend to a drug overdose a little over two years ago. The Harvard startup developing $5 test strips that detect spiked drinks and laced drugs. So we test for the five most likely lacing agents to cause an overdose, namely fentanyl, xylazine, methamphetamine, methadone, and methodiazepine, more commonly known as rupees. Results show within three minutes, Mab Lab targeting university health centers and pharmacies. This issue is hugely prevalent. Meanwhile, remember helping to bring family history and memories to life. Family members record 
answers to a series of questions. They record themselves answering the question, and then we turn these uh, recordings into written stories that we then print into a hardcover book. QR codes let you access the original recordings. The process takes up to a year and costs $100. A similar service called Story calls family members with questions on a traditional phone. So at the end of the day, everyone has stories to tell. And for a lot of people that may have arthritis, maybe they can't type. Or maybe they don't want to write or they don't really know how to start. Doing everything over the phone makes it a lot simpler. Food tech also on display. This chocolate's going to enhance my brain, apparently. Astrius building an AI wellness app with a sweet hook, Performance Chocolates. So they have all the micronutrients that uh, an elite performer or a surgeon or astronaut requires to do the, their day-to-day -day high cognitive tasks. $5 a box and packed with various nutrients, they're currently being tested on the International Space Station. Instead of taking 17 vitamins, you're taking one delicious chocolate. Okay, that looks like a lot of fun. You know what else is a lot of fun? I'm so excited. This November, Pixar Putt is giving back to Houstonians by offering discounted tickets every Tuesday. Guess what? Launching tomorrow, which also happens to be Election Day. And we have a good friend joining us with more. Introduce yourself. Hi, uh, my name's Colin Platzer. I'm the site manager uh, for Pixar Putt here in Houston uh, this go around. We're super, super excited to announce our, our $5 tickets on Tuesday. So that's actually going to be every Tuesday in November. Uh, it's kind of our way of giving back to the community because it's our first city that we've actually come back to. And yeah. We're really, really happy to come back. And I didn't get to go last time. So tell us a little bit about Pixar Putt. I was like, hey, could you maybe bring in, you know, a little putter and a ball? So I got a purple ball. But obviously, this is just for show. But tell me what we can experience at Pixar Putt. Gotcha. So we've got 18 holes of themed mini golf. Uh, each hole is themed to a different Pixar movie. So uh, name your favorite. We've probably got a hole for it. Uh, my personal favorite right now is the Soul Hole. Soul doesn't get a lot of love as a movie. It's yeah. great, but for us, that whole, we've got it set up. You press a key on the piano, it launches your ball down into the manhole. It's, wow. it's really cool. So where exactly is this located for so people who aren't familiar? We are directly in Discovery Green. Uh, so if you come to Discovery Green Park, we are right off the main concourse of it. Come in, buy a ticket. Although I would recommend heavily with, uh, especially with the $5 Tuesdays, yeah. reserving your tickets early online is super important because we sell out very fast. Okay, so $5, it's all day? It all doesn't day have Tuesday. like a specific no time. No stipulation. So from when we open at 3 o'clock until our last tea time at 8.30 on Tuesdays, it is $5. So you said this is your first city that you've come back to. Yes. Why so, Houston? Why is it such a success, would you say? Uh, honestly, the the people in Discovery Green and the, the guests that we've had are super welcoming nobody comes to have a bad time and it's a city that we absolutely love to come back to like it right now we're in long beach as well but uh -huh. but houston is just special i love it so what is the age range i have a two-year-old so i'm not sure she might be a little young so we like to say it's really for everybody right oh. um your youngest are going to get a kick out of seeing the themed holes and yeah. your oldest are going to get a kick out of how difficult some of the holes can be so right. we we like to say we're one to a hundred there's specifically on thursday friday saturday nights after seven o'clock we actually close down and go adults only uh, so we do adults only we sell alcoholic beverages uh, courtesy of our partners at the Grove uh, also at Discovery yeah. Green um, but yeah we sell alcohol that goes all the way up uh, until we stay open until 11 for that so that would be such a fun date night especially also I don't know about you guys a lot of people have friends family coming in town for Thanksgiving so you can make a whole day of it go down to Discovery Green there's so much to do and you guys are just nestled right there yeah uh, we're if you know where the lake house is at Discovery Green yeah. we're directly across from it <laughs> now what hole would you say is the hardest one the hardest uh, honestly Luca gives people the most trouble no, so no. you're you're putting up uh, and down the Italian Riviera you got to get your ball down uh, to the riverside but you have to go up a hill first and it, it gives people some problems I have to say I'm pretty good at putt-putt can I tell you one funny story for sure I got a hole in one I had my daughter <laughs> she was like six months at the time she was strapped on me and I got a hole in one awesome yeah I mean, that was like pretty much bragging rights getting holes in one is like one of the most exciting things to do oh it was like pretty much the most exciting you could hear me on the whole golf course so yeah. where can we go for more information so uh go to our website pixarputt.com um uh, you can go there to make reservations purchase tickets or you can come see us at discovery green uh meet us at the putt hut and we're more than happy to answer any questions well i'll be seeing there five 
$5 Tuesdays. Families, things are so expensive. This is absolutely amazing. Of course, we will have a link over on our website, CW39.com. I guess I better work on my putting. In the meantime, I'm just gonna tee it off. Ooh, Ooh! it's like I got a hole in one. It hit the, it, I mean, wouldn't that count? I mean, yeah, I think that 100% that counts. If, if there were a hole there, I would have gotten a hole in one. Just saying, stay tuned for more news and happens after the break. Totally, totally, let me, let me just get this ball. Hey, it's Karamo. You're watching Use It Happens. Coming up at 10, join me as we get deep into drama right here on CW39 Houston. I'm Art Rascone. If you've had a car crash and you're thinking about handling your own injury claim, here's a great tip. Don't. If things go wrong, you pay the price. You could get in over your head with the insurance company and cost yourself more time and money in the long run. If you've been injured, don't try to do it yourself. Call Terry Bryant and get it right the first time. You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. Do you have Medicare and suffer with knee pain? Have you been told you have arthritis and that risky knee surgery with a lengthy recovery is the only answer? Well, stop everything and call the number on your screen because Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has a non-surgical procedure that can eliminate your pain without surgery or downtime. Plus, it's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. Our doctors use an advanced image-guided procedure to restore natural lubrication and cushioning in your knees to relieve your pain and restore your mobility without surgery or downtime. Many patients report relief after the first visit. I'm not having any pain. My knee's not like sticking. It's just wonderful. And after the first injection, I knew it was going to work. Remember, it's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. So call Arthritis Knee Pain Centers now and schedule your no charge, no obligation knee pain screening. Call 800 507 2106. That's 800 507 2106. Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called a DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. And WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these, like more coverage for dental, vision, and hearing. And I can even see specialists for a $0 or low copay. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions and a WellCare Spendables debit card for everyday stuff and real human support and answers I can understand. And that means a WellCare DSNIP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call 877-278-3578 or visit wellcaremore.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. Well, welcome back to Houston Happens. All right, so we definitely had some rain and thunderstorms this weekend and it looks like we're going to have to deal with quite a bit more before maybe some cooler temps. I know Jonathan has been very very busy in the weather center so I really appreciate you my friend. Yeah. Breaking it all down for it, us. Man. I know. Oof, it's gonna be Tuesday. I mean it's election day. Of course and, of all uh, days. You're like days. it's already kind of gonna be a little electric at the poll. Yeah and then with light <laughs> we gotta and spice and this up. Mm. Uh, we have the chance for severe weather tomorrow in the morning. So okay. if you're headed out tomorrow to vote, I would okay. probably do it late morning or the afternoon. If you head out right now, yeah. anywhere for any reason, it's going to be very windy, you'll notice. Okay. Yeah, the wind. So, the, so what's happening, we get this really, we're having a really strong south flow ahead of this cold front. And what it means for us is rain, winds, uh, temperatures in the 80s, feeling like it's in the 90s, very 
unusual temperature wise very unusual weather you know it was in the 90s yesterday yeah. in college station that's just like gross crazy warm and then it feels like it's in the 90s with the mugginess outside i'm done with that personally i don't know if you've had enough of the the summer like heat but oh and, and you just don't know what to wear because you want to <laughs> wear like i mean at least for the ladies yeah. you want to wear kind well, of no, fall like I, stuff and yeah. you were you have that beautiful beautiful fall suit thank you yeah i yeah, you know yeah. I w the one that I wore last week. Oh my gosh, that was like my favorite suit you had. <laughs> you know, Funny, you we're it. like brother and sister, Thanks. and I'm always like, oh my gosh, love yeah. the suit. I Thank like you. this one too. I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, no, I made this myself. Thank Tomorrow you. Tomorrow I'm wearing red, white, and blue. If you want to wear red, white, and blue okay, with sure. me. Okay, That's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Tomorrow, okay, let's be patriotic. Sure. Yeah, same. speaking of, how about red, yellow, and green? <laughs> Okay. The radar scope. <laughs> so right now, this is falling uh, west of Cleveland. So this is moving to the north, okay? All this activity today through uh, Cleveland has been on and off rain. Cold springs, we can get in rain. Up to 69, it was soaking wet earlier. And as you can see now, the Houston area is generally speaking dry, save for some activity around Jersey Village that is again moving from the south to the north. Okay, and this is the case currently this afternoon, and it should be actually calm later on tonight. But then tomorrow, and I'm going to show you in a moment, it gets really busy. By the way, there's a coastal flood advisory in effect. That's right now until tomorrow morning because of those south winds. And by the way, just to give you some perspective of what it should be like right now, normally we're at 77 for an afternoon high temperature for this day. Right now, it's in the 70s. It's 81, actually. We just warmed up, but it was in the 70s uh, earlier on this morning for the lows around 77. So that's just an incredible statistic, if you will, that it is so warm that our afternoon high temperatures are happening in the morning, basically. So I have 86 this afternoon. Feels like temperature 95 degrees. The rain, the winds, the heat. Look at this, 86 for a high today, but tomorrow's a different story because the cold front that's going to come through. By the way, it's going to be very gusty today. Winds of 30 to 40 throughout the afternoon. All right. Looks rough tomorrow. In the first part of the day, I have an 80% chance of rain. Could be severe weather too. 74 though for a high temperature. That's something that's silver lining, right? That's a, it's a bit of a silver lining. Silver yeah. lining around the cloud that is stormy, the storm cloud. So that's the forecast for you. I hope hey. you uh, enjoy it and drive safely tomorrow because it's going to be rough. I know, and people do not know how to drive in the rain. I don't know how to drive at all. They gave me a license. I don't know what's I'm joking. Do you want me to pick you <laughs> up? Yeah, I need a chauffeur. You want to pick me up? I'll yeah. pick you up in the mom oh, oh. Actually, you it's know a... what? I will make you sit in May's car seat. <laughs> I would probably fit. You have fit. snack holders, and we can, like, lay you back. All right. Oh, my gosh. That sounds it great. swivels. She has yeah. the best car seat. Okay. I want to be May when I grow up. Yeah, this sounds like fun. Let's, yeah, just sounds please relaxing. do not spill your Cheerios everywhere. My apple juice. No, please don't. I can't. Okay. I can't promise that. <laughs> it happens we in regular life. We may have to rethink life. this. We may have to think. Yeah, I went to Whataburger yesterday. Seat. I went to Whataburger yesterday. I spilled soda on myself. So, and my dog, she got a burger. She did. She did fine. She didn't have any. Issues. I bet Winnie's great. Yeah. Okay, Winnie can drive with me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. From bad weather to bad sports news. I'm sorry. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> okay. Now to some bad news in sports. The Houston Dynamo FC season is over. After a penalty sh shootout loss to Seattle in game two of the best round one best of three series. Last night Houston fell seven and six in a penalty. Shout out versus Seattle Sounders FC at Shell Energy Stadium. This comes just a week after the Sounders won game one on penalties. This season the Dynamo Dynamo, though, set club records, so we got to give them that for, for points and road wins and made the playoffs in consecutive seasons for the first time in 11 years. All 20 players on the senior roster are under club control for 2025. And the Houston Dash season also uh, ended with a loss to Bay FC on Saturday. The Dash lost 3-2 to two, Bay FC in Houston. The match featured the second largest crowd of the season with 8,176 fans in the venue for the contest. The Dash finished with a 5-16-5 record and tallied eight clean sheets this season. Meanwhile, some good news. Alex Bregman, he can add a gold glove award to his resume in free agency this 
winter. It is the first Gold Glove Award for the third baseman who was a finalist for the fourth time. Bregman, who became a free agent after the World Series, is the second Houston Astros third baseman to win a Gold Glove. He led AL third baseman in games fielding percentage, assists, total chances, and putouts. Bregman is poised to be the top third baseman on the market this winter. You all, it has been a great off season for him. He has this award and he and his wife are expecting baby boy number two. Congrats, well deserved. Meanwhile, I was really upset to hear this news. We are remembering legendary musician and entertainment icon Quincy Jones. He passed away yesterday at his Bel Air estate at the age of 91, surrounded by his family, according to his publicist. Marnie Hughes takes a look back at his life and all of his groundbreaking accomplishments. Quincy Jones was America's music man in a career that spanned more than 70 years. He seamlessly switched from jazz, blues, pop, funk, and hip hop. He won 28 Grammy Awards and received 80 Grammy nominations starting in 1961. Jones's musical journey started in the 1950s as a trumpet player in jazz bands. Soon after, he started working as an arranger and conductor. In the 1960s, he topped the pop charts, producing Leslie Gore's hit, It's My Party. To, it to Later in that decade, Jones produced several successful jazz collaborations with Frank Sinatra and Count Bassey's band. He also started creating film scores, in total scoring more than 30 major motion pictures. In the 1970s, Jones recorded a series of his own chart-topping albums that fused jazz with R&B and funk. He also created theme songs for several hit TV shows, including Sanford and Son. But it was his collaboration with Michael Jackson that took Jones's career to new heights. Their first album, Off the Wall, made Jones the industry's most sought-after producer. The next album, Thriller, made history, becoming one of the best-selling albums ever. In 1985, Jones produced We Are the World, creating one of the best-selling singles of all time. His debut as a filmmaker came later that year with The Color Purple. A few years later, Jones brought his magic touch to the small screen when he produced The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. In 2013, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Hurt on the job but don't have workers' compensation insurance? You may be able to get money for your injuries even if your employer doesn't have workers' comp. Call Terry Bryant, 713-973-8888. When I was growing up, my mother worked long hours in restaurants and retail to make ends meet for our family. When I became an attorney, she was very proud. I'm Victor McCreese, a Texas board-certified attorney. I've devoted my career to helping hardworking people like you get Social Security disability benefits when you can't work. I'd like to help. You have lost my yell. Call Victor McCreese, 713-665-1000, easyapply.com. Life's accidents happen, but the Southeast Texas Poison Center is here to help. Our diverse team of doctors, pharmacists, and nurses trained in toxicology are ready to assist you 24-7. From information on drug interactions to accidental exposures to household products and chemicals, plants, and bites and stings, we're here. We'll guide you on the next steps so you can avoid unnecessary emergency room visits. Trust the professionals at Southeast Texas Poison Control. Your peace of mind is just a call away. Is your shower trying to tell you something? Is getting in and out of the bathtub becoming a safety concern? Are you worried about the cost of a bathroom remodel that could go on for weeks and weeks? Well, now you can have a gorgeous new bath or shower that's safer at a price you can afford with a one-day jacuzzi bath remodel. It was done the same day. We did not have to wait. <laughs> it is amazing. I would give this whole experience an A+. I definitely wish I would have called sooner. 
From soft closed shower doors and adjustable shower heads to features like grab bars and custom seats that combine safety and style, it's never been easier. Get your free design consultation, schedule your one day installation and start loving your new bath or shower right away. Only weeks left to get waived installation and no interest and no payments for up to one year. Go to jacuzzibathremodel.com or call 713-565-2195. That's 713-565-2195. Call now. The CW and America's fastest growing cable news network, News Nation, are teaming up to bring you the fairest election coverage all night long. With respect for all Americans, News Nation Election Night, Tuesday, 8, 7 central on The CW. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Being a client to Terry Bryant made me feel very comfortable. They honestly care about their clients. You know, if you're seeking justice for a wrongdoing, you want a good, reliable, strong lawyer, and that's Terry Bryant. Before you go, some news to take with you. Would you turn down your dream job if they didn't offer good health insurance options? Jane King has more with your morning business report. Good morning, Boeing machinists begin voting today on a new deal. Approval could end the seven-week strike. The offer would give members an immediate 13% pay raise, followed by 9% raises each of the next two years, and then 7% in the final year of the deal. The sticking point has been restoring the pensions for workers, but this deal does not do that. Well, after two decades of falling sales, soda is back in favor with Americans. Both Coke and Dr. Pepper reported higher sales last quarter, helping to drive total soft drink volumes up more than 1% from a year ago. The change comes amid a shift away from pricier Starbucks coffee and McDonald's Big Mac meals. Well, stocks had a strong start to November despite a dismal job growth number. All the indexes were higher as earnings from Apple and Amazon were mostly better than expected. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff is in talks to sell off Time Magazine to the Greek media giant Antenna Group for $150 million. CNBC reports negotiations are said to be in the early stages, and both sides are keeping mum at this time. Benioff bought a magazine in 2018 for $190 million. Well, a new survey has revealed one in three Americans would turn down a dream job if it didn't offer good health insurance. With benefits enrollment season upon us, a study commissioned by Trey Health and conducted by Talker Research revealed that many find their health care lacking or unaffordable. And in fact, 42% said they'd change jobs if a potential new employer were to offer better health care options. Meanwhile, according to a recent Randstad survey, 42 percent of Americans now say they don't want a promotion. With the persistent threat of layoffs and the post-pandemic priority shifts leading many to question the value of corporate ladder climbing. From the Nasdaq market site, I'm Jane King with your morning business report. Thank you, Jane. Well, that's a wrap on today's show. I hope that you have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. It will be Election Day, and we will have the Women's League of Voters. Plus, we will also have a Tasty Tuesday that's election theme, and how you can have conversations about Election Day with your kids. That and more will be headed your way. In the meantime, please drive safely out there with this weather. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Bye for now, everybody.